In the early 19th century, Europe was in the grip of a man, Napoleon Bonaparte. His rise was meteoric, his conquests legendary, and his rule absolute. From the battlefield to the political arena, Napoleon's influence was unparalleled. However, every reign has its twilight. After years of triumph, the tides of fate turned against Napoleon. The year was 1815 and the Battle of Waterloo marked his defeat. This loss led to his subsequent exile to St Helena, a remote island in the South Atlantic. Here, far from the splendour and grandeur he once knew, he found himself in a world of isolation, a world stripped of power and prestige. In this isolated and desolate place, Napoleon would spend his final years. On the desolate island of St Helena, Napoleon lived a life far removed from the glories of his past. Isolated, his health began to wane, a stark contrast to the vigour he once exhibited. He battled not only physical ailments, but also the demons of loneliness and depression. His existence, once filled with the hustle and bustle of courts and battlefields, was now marked by solitude and silence. As his health declined, so did the once invincible spirit of Napoleon. On May 5, 1821, the man who had once ruled Europe breathed his last. Napoleon Bonaparte, exiled and isolated on the remote island of St Helena, passed away under circumstances that remain a subject of debate even today. Some say he succumbed to stomach cancer, while others suggest he fell victim to arsenic poisoning. This dispute adds an additional layer of intrigue to Napoleon's already captivating life story. Thus ended the life of one of history's most formidable figures, shrouded in mystery and controversy. Napoleon's death marked the end of an era, but his legacy lives on. His influence resonates in military tactics, modern law and governance. His rule, a blueprint for leaders, has shaped the course of world history. In death, as in life, Napoleon Bonaparte remains an enduring figure of fascination and controversy.